Sharing is caring. Here's a wee story for you about trust. Belief in yourself and belief in your highest self. Long story short, I was exiting a building that I was working in and the doors had been locked and I was locked in the building. And at the time I was fairly new to that role and I was still getting used to using the keys. And anyway, I was locked in, started to panic. It was late in the evening, winter evening, pouring rain outside. This building was beneath pedestrian footpath level because you go from the footpath outside, you go down the steps into the basement of where this building was. And I started to panic and I thought, you know, okay, stop. Panic gets you nowhere. It's not going to change anything. If anything, it's just going to spiral your vibration downwards. And the outside world will reflect that. So let's get clear here. So I grounded myself, placed my two feet, the feet chakras firmly on the ground. I start to do deep breathing. This initially was just to help me relax and not to feel like I was going to be trapped in that building all night. Um, I was aware that nobody would see me because again, I was beneath eye level, beneath footpath level where I was. Um, yeah, it seemed like the, the odds were against me, but knowing what I know about energy and how reality works and how the angels always help and work in my life, I began to breathe really deeply and I just I just put out a prayer. I just said, please angels help me. And I just went, I got myself into this really clear, prayerful place. And I closed my eyes and I meditated upon seeing the angels help me to unlock that building because the keys weren't working there was two locks and they were not budging I could not for the life of me get those keys to turn <laughs> and as I opened my eyes there was a man it was a glass doorway there was a man there who was delivering papers and like free newsletter things and he said are you okay it was like he just appeared out of thin air I was so happy to see another human being and he said are you okay you could see I was clearly stuck and I, I said I can't get out I'm, I'm locked and he said pass the keys through the letterbox so I passed them through and he had a bit of a hard time but he I just knew I knew the angels had sent this man to me so I knew even though he was struggling I knew he was going to get those doors open and he did and I tell you, when I when I got out, I wanted to give him a big kiss to thank him. And I said to him, you are an angel. Thank you so much for stopping and helping me. And something sent him down there. You know, he, um, he doesn't deliver the papers to that building, but something sent him. Not something, the universe, the angels, that beautiful higher energy, whatever you want to call it, that pure loving energy sent him to help me. And then as if by magic again, he just disappeared back into the winter night. And it was just a beautiful moment of recognition that, you know, when you trust and when you have clear desire and strong faith in yourself and in your highest self, be that your, what you call your angels, your spirit guides, source energy, whatever you want to call it, that you are always answered. But the key is we have to, if I had have been screaming out that prayer from a place of panic and disordered energy, it would have been slower to have been received because I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't able to receive my answer until I got real grounded, real clear and real steady, um, with expectant gratitude in my own vibration. So I wanted to share this little story. It's a lovely memory I have. Um, and it reminds me to trust. It reminds me to know that I am loved and cared for and carried by the universe. And it's up to me to be, to allow that energy in and to be an open frequency to receive what I'm asking for. So I hope you enjoyed my little story. 
um, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if it helped you to, rem you know, to remember to, to get clear, um, not to buy into, not to go into that place of panic. I think we sometimes have a knee jerk reaction to negative stressful situations. It's totally natural, you know, we're human. Um, but to remind ourselves that we do have a choice, you know, that was the thing in that moment, I realized I have a choice here. I can just freak out, which won't help anything. Or I can get into a place of trust and knowing that I'm going to safely exit this building and everything's going to be fine. And it was, it was like, it was so quick and easy. Literally, I, I was in that state of meditative, deep breathing prayer for, it felt like not even a minute. And that man, I opened my eyes and he was there ready to help me. So, um, yeah, I hope that this inspires you in some way. And I send you spring blessings for April and May. And um, yeah, see you soon. Bye.